This prize, I'm sharing it with my colleague Antonio Pisani. To me, one of the reasons dystonia is fascinating is that all the cells are still there, but they're not talking to each other correctly, and how can we think about that, unwinding that process? I think we reached a, a sort of a relevant turning point in dystonia research. What we discovered in the last decade on the cellular and molecular mechanism, this can be really the basis to develop novel drugs. When I think about disease, I think about what is the disease process that's going on in cells. So we use genetics to understand that molecular process around neurodegenerative disease, in particular Parkinson's disease. I identify as clinically as a movement disorder specialist. So people who come to me, sometimes they don't know if they have Parkinson's or dystonia or tremor. They're coming to me first to understand that and to try and diagnose it. And then in the research side of what I do, we're trying to unpack those conditions. There is certainly an intersection between uh, uh, Parkinson's and dystonia. And um, there are several lines of evidence that show how the work in one field benefits the other. So genetics gives us a space to define where to treat from a molecular perspective and potentially tells us who we should be treating. Our field has changed enormously from a space of small groups working on problems to large international consortia all working together. The Fox Foundation has been um, absolutely critical in helping to um, nurture that change. I think it's been a tremendous force for good in this field. Uh, it really has become the organization that is pushing research in Parkinson's disease forward. There's no question about that. I have these young folks who are excited. and It's wonderful to see them progress. It's wonderful to see them make amazing discoveries. I think encouraging, growing that cadre of people who will be the future of research in this area is really important. How do I get inspired by working with patients? Uh, this is really what keeps me going. Many aspects are inspiring and motivating our research. The first comes from patients themselves. Their everyday life is a continuous and constant stimulus for all the scientific community. Receiving the Bachmann Strauss Prize for Excellence in Estonian Research means that we worked in the right direction. My aim has always been to put together basic scientists and clinicians to fill the gap that still exists. I'm really happy to receive the Bachmann Strauss Prize for Excellence in Dystonia Research. I think the prize is a fantastic way to both uh, recognize what it takes to, to really work in dystonia and to be part of this small community. I hope it attracts other people to this field. I'm particularly honored to receive the, the Pritzker Prize. Something that I really take to heart is trying to um, bring the next generation of scientists forward. In the spirit of the award, I'm going to, to use those funds to sponsor a student over the next few years. Hopefully someone who'll become a, a leader in the field. We're working in several directions to really drive new therapies. In dystonia in particular, it's driven very much by the neurochemistry. We know that every single case of Parkinson's disease has a genetic component. My belief, my absolute belief, is that a genetic understanding of disease is our foundation for a cure.